You can make complex topics clear in your presentation by giving your audience context first. This is Dave Parody of ThinkOutsideTheSlide.com. In this video, I want to talk about how we can present complex topics in a way that the audience clearly understands them. And I'm going to talk about a complex topic. The example I'm going to use is a complex process or diagram. And in the demonstration, I'm going to use a feature in PowerPoint called Morph. Morph is a transition effect, and it was added um, more recently in PowerPoint. It, it, it's available to be created in the versions that you see listed there. And what it does is it allows the audience to see more clearly how you're panning across the overall visual, whether it's a process diagram or an image. Now, if you don't have Morph in your version of PowerPoint, that's perfectly fine. The demonstration I'm going to use works really well, explains it very well, even if you don't have this effect. I just wanted to show it to you because I think it adds a little bit to the audience's understanding so they see how you move between the different areas. So the demonstration I'm going to use is this particular diagram. It is a uh, order placement and uh, approval process. The challenge is, is that too many times what happens is that the presenter puts the complex diagram up and then what they do is they use a laser pointer and they wave the laser pointer all over the diagram. The audience is distracted by the laser pointer as you are probably right now watching this video and it's really not that effective for the audience. So instead, what I want to do is to show you how you can present this by giving context first. So here's how I would present this. Now folks, this is our overall order placement and approval process. There are four areas we want to focus on. First, our order initiation. Second, the order terms to make sure that they're acceptable and we can approve this order. If we don't approve the terms, then it's an unsuccessful order. What happens then? If we do approve them, then it's a successful order. And what happens then? So let's start by talking about order initiation. The customer places the order by submitting a purchase order. The sales rep logs that purchase order in the system and that initiates the order to go to the contracting area who reviews that order. And one of the key things they're reviewing to approve it are the order terms. If they're using the standard terms, well, that's pretty simple. The agent just approves the order. If it's not the standard terms, then they have to request approval for those changes to be accepted from the legal department. The legal department looks at the request and if they accept the changes, then they mark it as okay in the system so that we know it has been properly reviewed and it goes back to the agent who approves the order. If they do not accept the changes to the terms, then it becomes an unsuccessful order. They mark it as such in the system so that we have, again, logging that that was not accepted, returns it back to the order, uh, the order back to the agent, who then cancels the order in the system so it's not shipped and they notify the rep so that they can go back to the customer and decide what do they want to do when they want to change the order, change the terms so that we can move forward with that particular customer. If the terms were accepted because either the changes were accepted or they're using the standard terms, then we have a successful order. It is picked in the warehouse, the shipment is prepared, logged, and the order is shipped out to the customer. So what you saw in that particular demonstration is that I used five slides. Slide number one, I showed the overall complex visual, but then I used semi-transparent shapes, rectangles usually work well, to give the audience context that there are four areas we want to talk about. Now they're not trying to process the entire diagram at once. They're saying, oh, okay, there's four areas. And then each subsequent slide goes into the details of just that one area. And you'll notice if I just use the slides this way without the morph transition effect, it can still be very effective. What the morph transition effect added was just to show how we were panning across that overall diagram. And I think it can enhance the presentation if you have that available in your version of PowerPoint. So whenever you're presenting complex topics, give the audience context first so they can clearly understand the details as you present them.